stones in each kidney, and one of the largest they've ever seen, um, and uh, they were supposed to, uh, to get in for surgery uh, tomorrow to get, take care of them. In the meantime, she has stents put in each kidney, but because of a monetary problem, her in for a while, so she's in real pain every day uh, and until we can work something out. So I'm very for her. She's in an awful lot of pain. She can't even sit up in the, the bed for more than a few seconds. Uh, and it's 
gonna be that way for a while. Uh, that would be his wife, Ray, that's Judy. Uh, white. Old Palin has taken over, and she spent the last couple of days just cleaning the entire house. <laughs> I mean, she really, and doing everything possible to help. So uh, really, that's good for her, and it's helpful for us. Um, you mean you come over and cook? Oh, uh, you, you know, that's the blessing. We've, we've had uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken brought to us. We have lunch today brought to us. Uh, I've brought home hamburgers a few times, but uh, uh, it, we've been blessed in that way. And people care, and it, it, it's such a praise that people care. Um, the... Uh, do be with the preschool, pray with the preschool this week because <laughs> Pamela and I are going to have to take care of it ourselves and uh, it's really hard for Palin to work a 10 hour day like and so just prayer in there. Um, Palin White is the director uh, of the preschool she also has muscular I, I dystrophy. Very um, impressive young lady with a master's in education. Prayers and praises. Praise them up over here, walking, breathing. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And that is still good banana nut bread, but I'm not going to eat any more right now. You're supposed to choke on the swallow it, not breathe it. I just keep looking at that piece of bread like, you tried to kill me. <laughs> Right here, right at church. <laughs> but let me give on top of that a prayer. You know, Audrey supplies that refreshment every Sunday morning, and we I mean, we probably don't tell her enough, but we really, really, really do appreciate it. She knows I don't talk to anybody before I get around. <laughs> okay. Others. Chris? Cheating is home, and he just needs a prayer. Okay. Now remember Jake, situation, the family, others, Audrey. A niece of mine has a family situation going on. Yeah, uh, prayer for that, that situation. Chris? One of my kiddos, they have to be out of their house by March 6th. They have no place to go. It's a just very dysfunctional household with and I appreciate for financial situations for us to going to be a very hard time in the next week or two. Uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> praise for sharing. I pray for my brother. He's still recovering from his hernia. He's going to go back to the doctor. Uh, uh, <coughs> her brother John is <coughs> struggling with a hernia. Oh, 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 my real good friend uh, Jan. <coughs> Someone's coming to uh, destroy my privacy, like they like they think they can. Uh, I, I really do have a praise for you know, the folks that are here and others that are here. I appreciate so much that when I go through a problem, I seem to have my share of them. That we have people, congregation that cares. That's that's important. I've had tears in my eyes several times this week. Thanksgiving. It's well, it's just it's just something I'm thankful for. Our folks here that care about each other. Uh, it's great. Anyone else? Yes, John. I might as well throw out a bunch. What the heck, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say a little one for me. 
Um, and I praise that um, I have a team that's finally um, starting to go somewhere after three years right. um, in my medical care. Um, uh, I've been mentoring two young boys, and actually one of them got his bike stolen, and he'll be on TV shortly. I wonder how he got on TV, who he knows. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> and um, I want them to go on the right paths, and they've been, like, really on the edge of doing some real wrong path stuff, and then trying to do some right path stuff, and so I really hope, hope they go the right way. Hope my sister is doing better from her chronic Lyme's disease. And that my mom and my sister can talk because I found out well all the pictures my mom sent she didn't send anything to my sister so um, I told my dad I said well half everything is my sister's it don't matter it just is and probably more than half because it's my mom and my sister a lot of the time and um, <laughs> I got people in the hospital too um, you know as soon as I heard about Judy um, prayer that um, hear this prayer that Lincoln College, here's the message that I sent to them. I sent them some, uh, asked for help um, and asked for some students. Uh, I had already talked to the Child Development Center. Hopefully um, that goes through um, and we get some help, uh, some volunteers this week. Uh, and um, Mitchell's in the hospital with pneumonia and all of you all know, probably been seeing the news about Frog and Frog is like part of my part of my extended family uh, through my niece and so um, a lot of people right now that I've been thinking about good. okay good a lot of prayers a lot of praises you know it's nice that we can feel free to bring up prayer requests and, and also share good things that are going on there's always some of both uh, and just keep our eyes on it uh, much prayer this morning our dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for everything you've done for us, for your blessings, for the fact that you're here beside us and you care. Help us to know that we're never alone. Help us to know that even in dark, dark, dark times, the light is still shining. Thank you when we're lonely and we feel your presence. So, Lord, we thank you. We raise these things that we've talked about this morning in prayer. Illness, situations of life, uh, all matters of things, Lord. We have faith. We raise it up to you. So, Lord, hear our prayer and our praise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeff has our meditation. Amen.